Breaking news right now out of San Antonio this morning where police are looking for the man who shot eight people outside a bar. Officers say the man was angry after he wouldn't be allowed into the bar because he was too drunk. That's what police say. That's when he went to his car, pulled out a long rifle and started shooting. Pulled out a long rifle, walked back across the street, shot eight individuals in the parking lot five females, three males, ages 21 to four, 23 to 41. It's amazing no one was killed. The five women and three men who were shot are expected to recover. They range in age from 23 to 41 years old. New this morning, Hollywood star Salma Hayek is joining a Houston family in hopes of finding answers in the sudden disappearance of a Fort Hood soldier. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield joins us now with more on the search. Good morning, Micah. Hey, good morning, Stephen. 20 year old Vanessa Guillen's family just doesn't understand where she could be and why so much time has gone by without any answers. They're heartbroken and the community is starting to share in that heartbreak. Hundreds of people rallied last night in Colleen, and it seems that celebrities are also trying to get answers for the Guillen family. Selma Hayek posted about Guillen twice on her Instagram yesterday with the simple caption hashtag where is Vanessa Guillen? Here's what we know about the last time she was seen. Her family says she texted her boyfriend saying she was going to work and she would text him as soon as she could. That was April 22nd, but he never got that text. Fort Hood officials say all of her things were found in the armory where she was working, except for her cell phone. Her phone was last pinged on the Fort Hood base, and that's why her sister believes she's being held hostage on base somewhere. Guillen's family has said that she told them in the weeks before she went missing that she was being harassed. From the bottom of my heart, I strongly believe that my sister is alive, that whoever is keeping her hostage is doing it for a reason, because they know that at this point, if we find her deceased, it's just going to be much worse. And the FBI is involved in investigating this case, but her family tells us they want them to take the lead. They tell us that they have been doing some of their own investigating and the facts that they found versus the facts that they've been given by the Army Criminal Investigation Command have not matched up. Near downtown Houston, Mike Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Micah, thanks. New this morning, Houston police, a Houston police officer helped a man who walked up to him covered in blood carrying a gun in southwest Houston. A witness says the man was walking along Forum Park in Sugar Branch near the Beltway when a carload of men pulled up and started shooting, firing 13 times. That man was shot three times, including once in the face. He walked up to that officer who was on a nearby call. The officer took the man's gun and got him medical attention. Well, the shooters got away. They are possibly in a white Impala. Now to the top story at ABC13.com this morning. The Houston Police Department has relieved an officer of duty over a racially charged Facebook post. The 25-year veteran officer posted the message publicly saying, quote, black men go find your kids, support them, and be a dad, not just a father. Show your children there is a future and a world outside of your hoods, end quote. Next quote. No one is out to get you and no one is out to keep you down. If America is trying to keep black people down, she's doing a horrible job of it, end quote. The Houston Police Department responded to the backlash over the post on Twitter, saying in part, we are aware of a social media post with racial overtones by an HPD employee. The employee has been relieved of duty and an internal affairs investigation has been initiated. Police Union President Joe Gamaldi also responded on Twitter, saying, I'm aware of a post circulating that is reported to come from one of our officers. It is vile. It is disgusting. I know it is under investigation, but I am confident the Houston Police Department will act swiftly. This is not who we are as Houston police officers. Athletes at the University of Texas at Austin are demanding change throughout campus to support more black students. Their list of demands includes renaming buildings and replacing statues that represent racist historical figures. They also want more inner city programs, a diverse selection of art created by artists of color and more diversity in the athletic hall of fame. 
on Monday. ABC 13 holding a town hall on race relations and the faith community. Among the guests, Cardinal Daniel DiNardo and civil rights activist Reverend Bill Lawson. Anchor Melanie Lawson will moderate. The town hall will run from 7 to 8 on ABC13.com and our streaming social media platforms, including our ABC 13 connected apps for Fire, Apple, Android and Roku TV. This morning, investigators want to know who intentionally caused a bar to explode in the third war. The Houston fire chief tells us the blast at bar 5015 was no accident. It sent debris flying hundreds of feet and windows in nearby homes and businesses shattered early Friday morning. The fire chief also said there is a possibility that an accelerant was used there as well. He added multiple gas containers were also found near that scene. All right, today, for the first time since the pandemic, a music festival is coming to Houston, but not just any festival. It's a drive-in music festival at Minute Maid Park, parking lot C. There will be full stages with a variety of acts performing. Attendees will get a pair of headphones, which will allow you to switch and listen to each stage performance at a time. The festival is meant to bring the community together through music. It's interesting. It's new. It is something different. So I feel like it's going to be fun. Bringing this actual event together is signifying, you know, the central attitude of the city in itself. We're a unified city. We stand with each other through thick and thin. Performances range from different DJ sets to traditional rock. Tickets are on sale for $25. That festival begins at 7 p.m. The University of Houston has suspended all voluntary workouts. Six athletes have now tested positive for COVID-19. The school says the student athletes are now in isolation and contact tracing producers are underway. Sports like football and basketball returned to workouts last week on June 1st, but it's not only UH. Athletes at A&M, Alabama, Iowa State and more have also been testing positive for the virus. All right, more sunshine on the way. One more dry day before humidity returns. That'll come into play tomorrow, but enjoy today. Last bit of cooler weather to start off, and then by the afternoon, we will be much warmer. 70 degrees starting out this morning. Had some upper 60s. Some spots still in the 60s now. Look at Wharton, 63. That's not bad. Here's your next three days. Uh, 95 tomorrow, you will feel a big increase in humidity tomorrow. Winds turn out of the southeast. And then I can't rule out a stray shower or two starting Monday. Monday and Tuesday, a little bit of a chance, small, but a little bit of uh, a chance of an isolated shower or downpour. Wednesday, Thursday, dry yet again, very humid, but no rain. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as we head towards Father's Day weekend and early heads up, could see some pretty decent rain chances. So go ahead and plan right now to expect rain as we head towards Father's Day weekend. Until then, still going to be very hot and more humidity on the way. Well, are you planning to hit the road this weekend? Traffic anchor Catherine Whaley has a heads up about another big closure on the Southwest Freeway near the Galleria. The Southwest Freeway is closed southbound at the 610 West Loop all weekend long. Take the surface streets such as Richmond or West Park as an alternate route. Also in the Galleria area, expect a tight squeeze on the southbound lanes of the West Loop. Two lanes are blocked off between San Felipe and the Katy Freeway. The Metro Rail Red Line is shut down for maintenance this weekend between the Fannin South and Downtown Transit Centers. Buses will be provided every 10 minutes during the closure. And for more information on traffic, just go to ABC13.com or use our ABC13 Houston News app.